Hello everyone, this is Don with Mexop Support. I wanted to take a quick moment to uh, give everyone a brief quick start uh, video on RhinoCam's new uh, feature-based machining capability in RhinoCam 2017. So let's hop right into it. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll load RhinoCam 2017, select the mill module, and let's open our part. And we have a part located in our quick start folder called feature based machining quick start. We'll open that. Now what we have here is a fairly prismatic two axis part. However, we do have uh, one three axis contour, uh, three axis machining feature here in the back. And we have a number of pockets, slots, holes, uh, bosses. So we're gonna show you how easy it is uh, to perform uh, all of the toolpath operations needed for this part uh, directly from the uh, feature in the part. So let's go ahead and we've got our machining browser on the left. We'll go down here to the features tab on the machining object browser. That's This is where you uh, extract the features from your part. Now there's nothing really special about this part. It's just a a 3D closed solid part that was uh, designed in Rhino. Um, you can uh, do feature-based machining on any parts that you that Rhino can uh, open. Uh, if you can get it into Rhino and if it's a closed volume, whether a solid or a surface uh, volume, uh, it just has to be closed and uh, we can extract features from it. So let's go ahead and we'll go to the features tab We'll pick the Create Machining Features icon and it prompts you to select a flat area. So we're going to uh, extract the features from this top face. Right click. And as you can see, let's scroll this up a little bit. We have a number of different features that uh, Rhino Cam uh, recognized. So we've got, initially we've got an orientation that's contains all the features and the machining orientation. And we've got a planar face feature. We've got prismatic pockets. We've got an open pocket over here and we've got a closed pocket over here. These are two axis pockets. And then we got a series of slots. We have a through uh, angular slot that cuts through the part on this side. We have a uh, closed through slot over in the front and a a slot pocket uh, on the back. So those are our pocketing uh, features that we recognized. And then we also have a three axis uh, pocket feature recognized on the back. Now this is a, an open pocket feature. It's three axis because it has draft on the walls and it's got a fillet radius at the base. So you can't do that in two axis. So we'll use three axis operations on that. And then we have our boss feature here, sticking up here that was recognized. And then we have our large hole feature in the back. And then we also have our smaller hole pattern uh, around it. So let's go ahead and uh, show you how easy it is to create toolpaths and machine uh, this part directly from the features. So let's go ahead and start with our planar face. Let's drag this down a little bit so we got a little bit, little bit of room here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select setup one and we're going to go ahead and right click on our planar face and we'll do a facing operation. Here's our feature and uh, we'll go ahead and select the half inch uh, end mill. Now all the parameters, uh, we're just using default parameters that we have uh, saved with our uh, operation defaults uh, and you can change those uh, as you like uh, in the future as you go through this uh, quick start. And for the cut levels, now the information and the features that RhinoCam extracted uh, it extracts the XY uh, perimeter of the feature and it understands the depth of the feature. So here is the, uh, the depth is uh, the minimum depth is zero. You have to come down at least zero. And also we have a rough depth per cut of a quarter inch. So let's go ahead and generate that. 
and there's our facing operation. Let's go ahead and move on down and create uh, operations for our pockets. With this pocket, let's create another facing operation. As you can see, for feature-based machining, uh, you don't have to select from the menus up here at the top. You just right-click on the feature and select the operation you want to perform. We'll go ahead and do a facing operation there. There's our feature. Select the tool. Generate. There's our facing operation. For the closed pocket uh, over here, we're just going to right-click and pick pocketing. For the pocket feature, for, for the tool, we'll use a 3 8 inch flat mill for that. For our cut levels, it understands that the cut depth is a half an inch, and we're going to use a rough depth for cut of a quarter inch, so we should have two levels. There's our pocket. And we'll move on down and do our slots. We'll do all of these slots uh, at one time. They're all the same width. It's a, a half inch width slot. So let's go ahead and do all the slots. Pick the slotting. There's our three features. We'll pick our half inch end mill. And for the cut levels, you see that it needs a minimum depth of a quarter inch because that's our shortest depth pocket. So we got to go down at least a quarter inch. And we'll go ahead and pick generate. So here we've got our multiple levels to create the through slot over here, the through slot here, and one level to create our blind slot here. So let's keep moving on. Let's, we've got our slots made. Let's go to our three axis pocket in the back. We'll right click and we can select from all of our three axis operations. Let's do a, a horizontal roughing operation first. There's our feature. For this, we'll select the 3 8 inch uh, flat mill to do the roughing. With the cut levels, everything's all set. We got clear flats selected, so we're going to clear this bottom flat area. Pick Generate. There's our roughing operation. Now let's go ahead and do our finishing operation. So we'll right click on the pocket feature, 3 axis parallel finishing. There's our feature. We'll use our quarter inch uh, ball mill here. And then uh, everything else is, looks okay. We got a 10% step over, that's pretty good. Everything's all set, let's generate that. And there's our nice uh, three axis fin parallel finishing operation. Let's move on down to the boss over here. We'll do a two axis profiling operation on it. Right click on the feature, pick profiling. There's our feature. Select the tool, we'll use the 3 8 inch flat mill. Our cut levels, we gotta go down a quarter of an inch, so we're gonna go down and two passes of a eighth of an inch piece. And there's our profiling operation. Let's go do our holes real quick. We've got our center hole over here. Let's do a hole pocketing operation on that. Right click, pick hole pocketing. There's our feature profile. With the tool, we'll use the half inch tool generate. So there's our profiling operation. Let's move on down and do our drilling. We'll use a drilling operation on, on these through holes. Right click and pick uh, drill. There's our cross section of the hole. For a tool, we'll go ahead and select our quarter inch drill. For cut parameters, we'll have it a deep drill. We'll go a step, uh, step increment. Uh, let's change that to zero point uh, one, two, five for a step increment. And sorting, let's sort these holes. Let's go minimum distance and let's generate. So there's our hole uh, uh, drilling operation. So now, as you can see, in just a few minutes, we've created uh, all of these operations directly from the features uh, that are on the part. We didn't have to select any geometry. All we had to do was recognize the features and then generate tool paths directly from those features. So let's go ahead and do a simulation. Let's, and we will do these one at a time, slow it down so you can see them all. We'll do our facing operation. Speed that up just a little bit. So there's our facing operation to clear that top face. And we'll do another facing operation on this open pocket over here. 
that was quick. Let's slow that down a little bit. So there's our facing operation for that pocket. Let's do our blind pocket over here. There's our pocket there. Let's do our slotting operations. You can see we got the through slot here, the through slot there, and then the blind slot here. And this was a half inch wide slot and a half inch diameter, I mean a half inch diameter cutter. So let's go ahead and do our roughing operation for our three axis uh, contour feature in the back. So there's our uh, roughing operation for the three axis feature. Let's go ahead and do the finishing. Nice, nice uh, three axis operation there directly from features. Let's go ahead and do our profiling for our boss. There's our cleanup around our boss area. Let's do our hole pocketing in the back. Slow that down a little bit. Now we do our uh, drilling. With our minimum distance sort. There we go. All of the features on this part were machined uh, in RhinoCam 2017 using the feature recognition and feature machining features built right into the product. If you have any questions, you can give us a call or visit us online at www.mexop.com for additional tutorials. Thank you.